Hey everyone, today's topic is incredible. We are going to take a little bit from Sha'ar Bitachon, the gate of trust, and we're going to talk about the science of Bitachon. And this is important because it helps us conceptualize where is Hashem in our daily life, but also even more so, how do we worship an infinite God when we are finite, right? Like, where does that all come in? And so it's interesting because it says here, God is infinite in the most perfect sense, meaning that anything outside of God, any element outside of God is completely finite. And so what Hashem wanted to do is actually bridge the divide between the spiritual and the physical through something called simtsum, which is a contraction. Basically what it is, is God's infinite light goes through different contractions, which creates different worlds. And every world that is lower creates more and more obscurity. So the light of Hashem becomes even more blurry. And this is why we're actually in the lowest of the worlds. And that's why it's so difficult to find Hashem find Hashem's light, find good, you know, in the midst of evil, because we have that obscurity that is created in our world through the tzimtzum. So the different, the different um, systematic chains of descent where the worlds are, you know, getting more and more obscured is actually called in Hebrew, seder ishtal shalut, which is actually a Kabbalistic term, which basically explains that with God's infinite light at the very top, and with our own physical universe at the furthest, darkest extreme. So we're going to talk about the different worlds. We have Olam Ha'atzilut. Olam Ha'atzilut is, means Etzel, close to God. It's God's ultimate, divine, and utterly perfect light, meaning that everything is perfect in this world. There is no evil. There is no obscurity. We understand Hashem's light. We understand completely, 100%, Hashem's goodness. Then we have the second realm, which is almost impossibly removed from Atzilut, meaning that it it is highly sacred still, but there is still a little bit of obscurity. And this is called Holam Haberia. Then we have Olam Hayetzira, which is half good and half evil, right? So it's actually, there's a perfect balance between the two. And that means that evil emerges in some form to the point that the Kabbalists describe Yetzira as containing what we said, half good and half bad. Now, finally, we descend into the last world, which is Olam Ha'asia, which is the world that we are in, which basically means Hashem's light is utterly hidden in this world and our sense of independent existence is absolute, meaning that we think everything that we do is dependent on us, right? There's no other creator. We don't see anything, right? We believe only what's in front of us. And Hashem really is non-existent in this world where we don't really see him even though he's here and so the world is overwhelmingly evil by default meaning that we need a strong strong effort to connect with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. and this is why this world is actually the most important because Hashem says the more difficult it is for you to connect with me the more reward you get for even just trying just trying to understand me because I am infinite and you are finite right and so all the upper realms actually exist to facilitate and sustain our own existence so that we can fulfill God's desire to have a relationship with him, specifically in a reality that denies his divinity and his goodness. And actually the entire idea behind this Ishtar Shalut of worlds is really to get to the darkest part, which is where we're living in now, especially the times of today. We're living in such dark times and we're like, where is Hashem? Where is the light? Where is the Geula? Where is the Yeshua? Where is the Mashiach, right? And so it's very, very hard because sometimes we're like, we're not seeing Hashem. Sometimes we don't experience Hashem in our daily lives. Sometimes we don't have that schut. We don't have that merit. But Hashem says, hold on. Because all of these worlds that were created above you are actually made for you to facilitate that connection between me and you. And so we have to understand that these worlds are made for us to create a connection with Hashem. And even though sometimes it's so difficult and we only see the darkness, we have to understand that we're in a world where there is darkness. We're in a world where there is obscurity. But Hashem says, I want you to look beyond that, right? Because I connected the spiritual with the physical, meaning that even if when we're in Olam Asiya, which is the world of doing, the world of action, I want you to still understand that even though it's physical, there's a spiritual component. 
And the more you dive in Torah, the more you have bitachon in HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the more you bring the energy of the other worlds into you. So Bezat Hashem, may this shiur be a blessing. And Bezat Hashem, bring a fuah shalema to Eleni Orna Bat Chen Chana to Rafael Chaimer Ben Simachasha. May you bring us world peace, Bezrat Hashem. And Shalom and Am Israel and Medinat Israel. May they protect our soldiers. Amen. May Hashem always protect Medinat Israel. May we have peace in the world, Bezrat Hashem. And I'm hoping this science of Bitachon will help you get to the next level and connect better with Hashem.